Wow, Road to PS5 was mm, very boring. And we may have gotten the release date for Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Definitively. If you want to win a copy of Animal Crossing New Horizons for Nintendo Switch, stick around to the end of the video to find out how. Wow, that was so boring, PlayStation. What is wrong with you? I was so excited to see what the PlayStation 5 was bringing to the table spec-wise, and I also wanted to see the console, what it looked like, and they said, <laughs> no console for you. We'll tell you what it does, but you can't see it yet. I'm like, oh, PlayStation, I hate you. We have Xbox over here showing off pictures of their console next to a refrigerator. You can't even give us a peek? Not even a peek? Uh, I want to know if it's that little weird V shape. Come on, can't you just say, yeah, it's the V. You guys got us. <laughs> Oops. Come on. Seriously, PlayStation, we got to wait longer just to see what the damn thing looks like. Who cares? What is that going to do? What does that affect anything anywhere? Just give us the goddamn shit. But this Road to PS5 video... When I clicked on it, it was an hour long. It was like an hour long? What are they gonna do here? Then we got some guy introducing Mark Cerny in front of like what looks like a fake audience. Their heads aren't even moving like a, like a centimeter. They're just like dead fucking still, like four heads in the audience. And I'm like, what the fuck? It's such a weird little conference. I hope this is fake. I hope they're in like a fake thing and they just wanted to make it look like that. It's all, it was all very weird. Anyways, Mark Cerny's weird ass gets up on stage and he's like, I think the gaming architecture is this and that and blah 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 and bing bong boo and bee bee bop bop bee and I was like shut the fuck I was getting so goddamn bored I, I was like kind of watching it for like 30 minutes I was like I am done I'm tired of hearing this guy I think he's quirky on stage with his little glasses going we love the art the creativity of the architecture of the ran units I was like what the fuck Jesus Christ who wants to watch that? Nobody. Some, some people on Twitter are like, everybody hating on the road to PS5. I thought it was very interesting and intellectual. Oh, shut your mouth! I think you're smarter than me. You gotta watch your tone, buddy. Uh, if you enjoyed that, I don't know what's wrong with you. That was incredibly, unbelievably boring. I cannot imagine live streaming that. You're just like, and then we thought this was pretty neat. Like, for like a fucking hour. Are you kidding me? What the hell? Uh, so I just went on Google and looked up the specs. They were talking about all kinds of random shit in the fucking thing, but here's the specs. Let me get into the specs for you. Hold on, before I do this, let me get my spawn wave glasses on. Ah, spawn wave initiated. The PlayStation 5 will feature a custom 8-core AMD Zen 2 CPU clocked at 3.5 gigahertz baby, and a custom GPU based on AMD's RDNA 2 architecture hardware that promises 10.28 teraflops and 32 compute unit clocked at 2.23 gigahertz, also variable frequencies. Or something like that. <laughs> it also has 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 RAM and a custom 825 gigabyte SSD that Sony has previously promised will offer super fast loading times and gameplay. Yeah, bitch. Now that means anything to me other than like, hey, we have a smaller SSD than Xbox and uh, pretty much the exact same specs. I remember the, the AMD RDNA 2, blah, blah, blah. It's like the same goddamn shit that's an Xbox. But I saw people comparing it online like, well, actually, the Xbox is smoking the PlayStation 5, just blowing it out of the water. And some people are like, well, the PlayStation 5 can friggity bop the boom bop better than the Xbox One. I'm just like, I don't know. I don't care. I don't know anything about that. I thought there'd be some fun, interesting stuff, but they they were talking about the loading times. The loading times, the loading times, I can't believe it. The loading times are through the roof. It's crazy. <laughs> through the roof, I guess that'd be bad, right? They're to the ground. I don't know. They're non-existent, right? Um, which uh, they did a comparison a while back with like Spider-Man 4. Like, look how long it takes to load here. And, then, and Mike Sturm was like, sometimes we might have to actually make a little scene because it loads too fast. It's actually too fast. I was like, shut the fuck up. Are you kidding me? He's like, instant travel is going to literally be instant. We don't like that. I'm like, What's, what's the point of calling an instant then, sweetheart? Who? What is this? A fucking magical wonderland where words don't mean what they should? Grow up! Uh, but yeah, it's I guess it's pretty powerful. It's almost on par with Xbox One. I saw people saying that it was stronger, but then I saw people saying like, oh, the PlayStation 5 can do this, so the Xbox can't do that. Blah, 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 blah. They also said that they plan, to they plan to add support for 8K gaming and 4K gaming at 120 Hertz or HZ, I don't know what the fuck that is. Um, and uh, I thought the Xbox already had that. That was already like standard on the Xbox. I don't know how you add that in later to PlayStation. You're like, here goes your 8K gigahertz chip. Go ahead and put it in your PlayStation. You're, giga you're gaming at gigas, right? I don't, I don't know what it adds there, but 
They also plan to add 3D audio. And I'm just like, well, what the fuck does that, well, how does, what's 3D audio? Like, is it not already 3D? What is it, what do you mean? Like, I'm, like my sound, the sound on my TV is not gonna just magically change. Like, oh my God, I'm in a whole new world surrounded by sounds. Like what, it, no, this, I don't know how any of this works, all right? You know that you've been you you welcome here. If you're new and you don't you don't know that I don't know that <laughs> you're watching an idiot. All right, congratulations. Uh, but uh, I mean, it was fun. To, it wasn't fun to see. I was gonna say it was fun to see. I w thought it was gonna be fun to see the PlayStation Five, uh, but it wasn't. We didn't even get to see it. We just got to hear really really boring rambling about it for an hour. So, thumbs down PlayStation. Didn't like it. Get it out of my face. I do want to buy one, though, because I want those delicious PlayStation games. Show us the games! There's a man outside. And apparently Amazon in Mexico listed Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition for a release on May 29th. That's a very specific date. It does fall on a Friday. Um, and uh, it's not like December 31st, 2020. Like, oh, we'll just put that so it's somewhere in the year, right? It's a, They picked a specific date. And apparently some European website posted this exact same date, which is reputably uh, posted, leaked, accidentally, you know, accidentally posted uh, correct release dates before in the past. They posted May 29th as well before Amazon Mexico, apparently. And an eShop listing for the game recently showed up as well so things are kind of just chugging along for the xenoblade chronicles definitive edition i've seen a lot of comments saying like oh i want some info i want some info on that let's get some info on that like blah 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 i'm like that's gonna be a remake of the original xenoblade chronicles with areas that weren't in the original game there's your info and my I, I mean it's not there you go what is like what else do you want that's what it is it's not all there's nothing more you can say really right I mean, I don't know what else there is to say, but hey, you may be getting it in a couple of months, but with the country probably being on a full lockdown at that point, <laughs> you're gonna have to buy it digital. Sorry, my physical gamer boys. I mean, we'll see, you know what I mean? Like maybe, maybe not. Maybe things will be fine by then. I don't know. I don't know. I'm an expert at nothing, okay? Um, but this does give a little bit of credence to the rumor about the Nintendo Direct coming up next week. Uh, if all this stuff is coming out, they could just confirm it in the direct and go, yep, this was supposed to be in the direct. Here it is now officially you got leaked like everything else does. Uh, so there you go. Hopefully that direct is around the corner because we are all fiending, just uh, chopping a bit, waiting for that general direct to give us a slight bit of good news in this hellish apocalyptic landscape that we live in now. Nintendo be our saving grace. If you want to want a copy of Animal Crossing New Horizons for Nintendo Switch, leave a like, drop a comment, be subscribed, you gotta be subscribed to win. If you drop a comment on every single video uploaded to the channel in March, that is an entry on every single video. I'll be picking a random video and a random comment from said random video with random number generators so everything is fair and even across the board. Um, and then I will contact you in the comments, like I said, and you can get in touch with us on Gmail, Twitter, uh, Instagram, whatever you're comfortable with, and we'll get the game out to you. Winner picked at the end of the month, of course. Uh, so leave those comments throughout the month on all the videos that get uploaded or have been uploaded and there you go That's all chances to win. We'll be doing giveaways throughout the year unless we all die a horrible death due to some kind of weird 2020 devastation if you want to look like this badass on screen right here hit up our merch for fugames.bigcartel.com We got shirts, stickers, mugs, all that fun stuff. Good quality, fashion, be good pricing. Uh, we also have a Patreon, patreon.com slash fugamecrew for as low as $1 a month. You can really help out the channel a lot. All our current patrons are amazing. We love you so much. We've been finding lots of fun stuff for the $25 tiers. So, uh, good, be on the lookout for that, guys. Uh, <laughs> but uh, links to that stuff in the description. We also have a join button down below. Uh, you get uh, badges and then emotes. You can show off the emotes in live streams. It's a fun way to participate. I like it. Uh, also, mine and Cameron's channels are down in the description below, our personal channels. Go check those out. We're also on BitChute and Flare. Go check us out over there as well, and I'll see you later. So I want to say thank you to your loyalty. Thank you for your support. Look, it's like, it's like he's, it's like he's a real person. <laughs>